In this video, we are going to take a look at group one and group 17 elements and some of their common properties and reactions. So let's start with group one elements. Group one elements are known as our alkali metals. They are highly reactive, they're soft, they have low melting points, which actually decrease down the group. They have all have one electron in their valence shell, and they react in very similar ways. And the reactivity actually increases down the group. So lithium is the least reactive, and then francium is our most reactive element. So let's talk about some of uh, the reactions with group one elements. We're first going to look at group one reactions with oxygen. And so all group one elements do have vigorous reactions with oxygen and they are all tarnished rapidly in air. So when we store any of these group one elements, we actually do so in mineral oil to prevent any kind of contact with air. So the general reaction is we take four of the metals. So this could be sodium, lithium, potassium, any of those alkali metals reacting with oxygen gas, and that forms the metal oxide or M2O. So a specific example here would be four sodium plus oxygen gas reacts to give two sodium oxide. They also react with water, and we'll, we'll take a look at these reactions when we do our trends lab, but when we drop any alkali metal in water, it does react pretty vigorously. It's more vigorous as you go down the group, and this reaction actually generates a very strong base. So the general reaction is we take two of the metal plus water, and that reacts reacts to give two of the metal hydroxide as well as hydrogen gas. This is a single displacement reaction. And so if we take a look at an example with sodium, we've got four sodium plus water reacts to give two sodium hydroxide plus hydrogen gas. Next, let's take a look at our group 17 elements. So these are our halogens. These are all non-metals, they're diatomic, and they have very low melting points, which do increase down the group. They also have seven electrons in their valence shell, and their re reactivity actually decreases as you go down the group. So we are gonna look at some other reactions in different videos of halogens, but the ones that we're gonna look at in this video are the reactions with the alkali metals. So whenever a halogen reacts with an alkali metal, it forms a white or colorless salt that's soluble in water. So its general reaction is we take two of the alkali metal plus the halogen X2, and that reacts to give the metal halide. So looking at an example, we have two sodium, plus chlorine gas, and that reacts to give two sodium chloride. So that sums it up. We've got group one and group 17 elements and some of their common reactions. And now let's move on to our next task.